turn your recorder on. Yes. yes. This is the review song for first semester of eighth grade science. Please sing along with me. The first part. <laughs> the first part is to the tune of the theme from Gilligan's Island. So. Yes. Just sit right down and you'll hear a tale, a tale of the elements. Ninety-two are natural, the others we invent, the others we invent. A Russian man named Mendeleev arranged them by their size. He left blanks for missing ones, I think that's really wise. I think that's really wise. The table was arranged to show how elements behave. Metals were put on the left, they give electrons away. It balance electrons away. Families are vertical. Horizontal rows are periods. Their properties repeat themselves. Reactivity is one of them. Here on the periodic table, the elements are stable when their valence shell has eight. This is called a full octet. They bond to reach this state. Noble gases, they have eight. Family 1A had just a single valence E. 2A has two, and can you guess? Family 3A, it has three. Of course, 3A has three. This rule does not apply the same to every element. Transition metals and those two weird rows can have up to four valence. One, two, three, or four valence. Metals give electrons away. Non-metals can take or share. Metalloids are weird because they have properties like both you see here on the periodic table. <laughs> the parts of the atom are well known to everyone who looks. The information on the chart could fill up several books. That chart holds several books. The atomic number is the one whose numbers always hold. It states how many protons are in the nucleus and soul. Number 79 is gold. The mass number is the average mass of all the isotopes. That's why it has a decimal. Confusing until you learn the ropes. Can it not, you'll learn the ropes. An atom's mass is at its heart. And protons and neutrons too. Electrons are too light to count. But they are pretty valuable. Let's give them a new song. Bonding, atoms bonding. It is all about the octet rule. Atoms bond to get a noble gases don't bond their nobles. When a metal gives up its electrons, it becomes a plus. These are called cations. This will soon make total sense to us. If a member of a non-metal family takes the E, it makes an anion. This is negative, makes sense to me. Since the ions now have opposite charges, they will attract. This makes ionic compounds, acids, bases, and salts. That's a fact. For the other type of Compound will change tunes again, it's true. It is called covalent. It's still bonded, though we've changed the tune. Come and listen to my story about a type of bond in which the atoms share their valence electrons. Neither atom becomes charged because they keep the ones they own. They just spend their time together. The electrons are alone. Shared, that is, not exchanged. No one gives or takes away. When atoms bond this way, we call them covalent. Some examples of this type of bond are water, breath, and sand. The compounds that they make can be polar. If one holds its electrons closer to itself, we call these two ends poles. Opposite, that is. One is slightly positive, and the other poles a little negative. Thanks for listening to my song, though it keeps on changing tune. In the future, we'll have more to sing, and it'll last all afternoon. You're all invited back to learn about the elements, but till then just memorize the song and help with your exam. Bum, 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 bum. When atoms react, they're never destroyed. Take them apart, put them together, or rearrange them. In what ways can we know reactions are occurring? There are five ways of seeing. New substances are formed, bubbles are formed, heat's given off. 
He's taken in, colors are changed, precipitates form. Since atoms are destroyed, equations have to balance. If it is on the left side, it's on the right side too. The numbers we change are the big ones in front. That's all we can do, this I tell you, because it is true. The four types of reactions are really very easy. Although you think the song is really very cheesy. When atoms combine, it's called synthesis. Taken apart, is decomposed, they are opposites. Sometimes atoms create places with other kinds of atoms. We call this type replacement because they change their place when there's only one trait. Single's the word, but if there are two, this I tell you, the word double is heard. Matter comes in different forms, pure substances and mixtures. Elements and compounds can't be separated physically. Mixtures that are uniform are called homogeneous. Examples of this type of mix are Listerine and soda. Other types of mixtures are not mixed with such precision. Examples of this type of mix are Rocky Road and Raisin Bran. When the parts are not well mixed, it's called heterogeneous. But both types can be split up by physical procedures. The two parts of solutions are the solute and the solvent. Solute is what gets dissolved like sugar cubes in coffee. If the solute settles out, it is no solution. If we have to shake it up, we call it a suspension. There are three ways that we can make the solute dissolve faster. Agitation will make more room for sugar, salt, or blaster. Also, if you need it up, collisions occur faster. Grinding up the particles will cause more surface area. Dilute is the word for weak, strong water concentrated. If it's all they call it, can we call it saturated? I hope you have learned from this, although it does seem crazy. There is one more song to sing, now come on, don't be lazy. Acids have a sour taste and they neutralize bases. Due to their ionic bonds, they can carry charges. This means they're electrolytes, they are proton donors. Then the proton bonds with water, making it hydro. Oh no. Um de -li -li -um -de -li, um de -li -li -um -de -li. Bases have a bitter taste and they neutralize acids. If you touch a stronger base, it's slippery and corrosive. Hydroxide the ion, you'll find in many bases. It accepts the proton from the acid in solution. Um de -li -li -um -de -li, um de -li -li -um -de -li. If we want to know if a solution is acidic, we can use an indicator, some are quite specific. Cabbage juice, hydrangea, litmus, a renal failing. When you're testing pH, watch the colors, they are changing. Um, de -li 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 -um, de -li, um de -li -li -um, de -li. If we want to tell the strength of acids or of bases, we will use the pH scale to put them in their places. Seven is the neutral one, above seven are bases. Acids are at the other in zero to fourteen spaces. Um, de -li 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 -um, de -li, um de -li -li -um, de -li. Neutralization happens when you mix bases with acids. Sometimes it's a slow process and other times it's rapid. Water is a product formed from this type of reaction. The other product is a salt. You bet this always happens. Um, de -li -li -um, de -li, um de -li -li -um, de -li. First semester song is almost finished. Hold your horses. If you make up songs, they can help you in all your courses. Use these little tunes to help you think they are resources. Next semester we'll learn about... Oh, no. <laughs>